Alright guys, so it's now dark out. I ran and grabbed some dinner. Put them back here. I don't know if I showed it or not, but I did find a couple phones. A little LG phone and a Samsung. Nothing crazy, but the back. Not too much left to go through. Those four boxes. That E-Machines box. This tote, which is books. That one's basically books. This is all movies. And those two bags are movies, so we're still pushing through. So I just grabbed this box, and then there was these shoes on top. I can see a Jordan box right there, but then I lifted this up. That's just a pretty sight to see. Hopefully they're all full. What a little update. I did pull out this iPad. Looks like a newer model. I don't know. This Gucci coin pouch that I need to check and see if it's real. This little thing. I don't know if it's worth anything or not. I gotta look it up. This Gucci belt, which I'm pretty sure is real. Right there. An OtterBox for one of the newer iPhones. I gotta see if they're even worth anything online. A little Bluetooth headphone that looks like a newer one. Some gift cards I gotta call. Um, the brand Aldo. I found like one purse and three wallets that I gotta look up. And I also did pull out... These foam posits, which I'm pretty sure are real. And then over here, some Converse, some Adidas, some Jordans right there, some more Jordans right there, and a pair of Timberlands. But now I'm gonna look through this box and I'll let you know what's in here. All right, so that box was empty. There's a pair of shoes in there. A couple of the boxes were empty, but there also is some Jordans that I have laying around, so that might go to them. There's a pair in here and pull down some store the box there's a pair in here right there that look like phone posits i think i'm not sure i've never seen the matte black ones like that put those back down in there i didn't look in the feel of box oh come on don't fall you're gonna knock everything over Sorry, I'm this box closed. All right, this one's empty. Just toss that back in there. This one has a pair of shoes in it. A Charlotte Russe pair of heels right there. I don't know the hell these are in here now. This one has a pair of shoes in it, right there. Those actually look pretty clean. This one, another one there, I'm not sure. This one's empty. This one has another pair of shoes in it. I'm not sure if all these are in the right boxes either, so I have to figure that out. This is really hard to do with one handed. That or something, I don't know. And then this guy's empty. So, but like I said, I do have the other shoes over here and then over here as well. So maybe some of those go to the boxes. I'm not sure, I'll have to look at all the numbers and figure it out, but that's not a bad box. All right guys, so I'm basically done for the day. I got through all the boxes back here. All I really have left is that box with wires all up in it. Um, that box has books. That box there is just like a um, audio equipment thing. These two bags are all DVDs that tote under those DVDs. This is the box with all the shoes in it. And yeah. So I found a couple. That's a Chanel purse and a Prada purse right there. I don't think they're real. There was a fake Gucci purse that's in that bin, that blue bin right there. Um, I highly doubt they're real. Still can get some money for them at the flea market. Did find a dollar in a pocket of a pair of pants. Couple watches right there. That stuff I showed you. Let's see what else we got. I think that's really it, to tell you the truth. The iPad, which you've seen. This is like a metal bra, I think, or something like that. I'm gonna look up, do some research on it. Might be worth something, who knows. But that's really about it. So I am going to head out of here and I'll catch you guys later.
What's up guys? Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is where you're at. I'm back for another trip to the storage unit and to get fuel. I gotta go get gas or diesel or fuel or whatever you want to call it. But I gotta go do that and then um, it's hot today. My truck says it's 100 degrees out, but I know that's not right because it sits in the sun and it gets, it's probably gonna get up to like 85 or 90 today, which is gonna suck. But the good thing is, is that my storage unit usually stays in the shade. So I'll put a fan on, probably, probably not, but I'm out of here. Time to head down to the storage unit. All right guys, so ended up with one, two, three, four, five empty Jordan boxes. I'll just use them as shipping boxes. I mean, there were shoes that could go in them, but they're not the correct shoes. Here's all the shoes that I found last night. There's one more pair that's back there, but it wasn't worth anything. I just put it in flea market. But got a pair of heels, another pair of heels, Adidas, Converse, some Timberlands, and then we get into the Jordans and Nikes. Something just fell behind me. Those are pretty decent. Those aren't bad. I don't really know much about shoes, but I kind of know that Jordans are worth some money. Some phone posits. Those are like kids' ones. Some more Jordans. Another pair of phone posits. Another pair of phone posits. Right there. Some Fila's. Those shoes and those. And it kind of makes sense that I've got it right by the TV that came out of that same unit. I paid $70 for this unit. I'll probably get $70 out of one pair of shoes. So, can't really complain. And the TV's pretty expensive too, so. But I'll take you back here real quick. Organized all my scrap up. Just got finished doing that. I've just been kind of moving stuff around. Moved all my flea market totes back here. I ended up getting one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten totes for flea market. Oh, uh, those two suitcases, those two suitcases, this frying pan, and some pictures and other stuff, like smaller stuff, out of those four units. So, that's not bad. I still have to finish going through this crate of books. This box, which is mainly just cords, that box, and then look at those two typewriters right there. But other than that, I'm done. I've got the trailer pulled around. I'm going to start working on that again. And, uh, yeah, I need to box these shoes up and get them home and get ready to list those. Not too bad. Not too bad. Also, do have these other Nikes over here that I think I already showed. Some of them are kind of beat up, but some Air Maxes and just see if I can clean them up and get something for them. But... I do like this little haul. Can't complain right there. Alright guys, so I'm still working. It's deciding that it wants to kind of rain, but not like really rain. But I've gotten through about halfway through the trailer. This entire box here is full of like speakers and it's very big. Like you can see the size of it based off a normal chest freezer. It's pretty large. And that one there is all full of like audio equipment and stuff. But I've just kind of been pulling stuff from the back. The back corner is all tires. Right there, that brown part you can kind of see. But I've just been digging through. Wish the rain would stop. Oh, I need to move those boxes. I'll be back in a second. All right, so I've done a few things. Just pulled out these two Barbies that I need to look up. Just pulled them out of a box. I've got this iron here. It's a shark iron. I've actually got the box board in there somewhere. I don't know where. Some tools and car parts I need to look up. This, uh, oh, there goes everything. Stay up there. Don't fall. Found this tablet. This thing's going for like 20 bucks. A little ratchet. I think this is a fake pair of Oakley's. I'm going to do a little research on them. Um, Matco pry bar, a little plastic one. Some hats, snap on racing. A Batman hat, a Bulls hat, Matco Tools hat, another Bulls, 
in a Jordan hat. And also did find this screwdriver set that's Matco. It's just missing one screw or two screwdrivers right there and there. Not bad though. And um, that's really been about it. Some flea market stuff. Got a couple flea market totes going. Some DVDs. Another tote of DVDs. Tons of them. And then kind of stacked flea market stuff back here. I think the only tote that's been added is those top two. But that's really it. Hasn't really been anything crazy, so I've just been listening to music and just working through it all. But that's what I'm back to go do. And I've got a, someone coming for that queen bed in like an hour. So I'm going to get what I can done and then meet them and then probably head out of here. All right, guys, so I've got the pull, trailer pulled around. Just got done going through a thing of clothes, kind of rearranged this area. And uh, had the people come for the bed yesterday. The headboard wouldn't foot fit, but they paid for it, and they're coming back for the headboard. They took the uh, footboard and the sideboards for it. But I just pulled out a Matco pry bar set. It is missing one of the pry bars, but there's three of them in there. And then did just pull this out. A Matco lock a socket tray. I think they're going for like 50 bucks online. But then there is this whole entire tote full of tools. So not bad. Not a bad start for the day. Oh, and then also the, well, the very first one I did. Pulled out this Dooney and Burke purse. I'm not sure if they're still doing anything online or not. But then a Michael Kors purse as well. Which looks to be in good shape and I'm pretty sure it's real. So we're rolling through it. All right, guys, so I am um, going through another box. I'm, like, almost fully done with all the boxes, but just pulled out this container for change. And this, and I don't want to knock this out again. Hold on. This jewelry case with this class ring in it, which is marked 14 karat gold. Uh, let me get some light on it. Right there, you can see the marking. And then the earrings I got to look at, and those cufflinks but i just put that to the side but i did just want some change i'll show you the trailer real quick we've got just that pile there that little pile this box that tote in that big box is all like car audio stuff so i've just kind of been saving those till last so i can deal with them all at one time it, because if not it would just clutter the whole place up but that's really it So, we'll back to work. All right, guys, so I got basically everything in the trailer done besides this big box, that tote, and this big box that's all, like, car audio equipment. Because so I've, like, glanced in like this screen. You can't even see it because it's so dark in here. But it's, like, radios, and this one's radios and speakers, this guy here. This one I don't even remember, really. Like, there's a radio in there. This one's a lot of cords. That looks like a car radio right there. Speakers, a whole bunch of stuff. But, it's starting to get dark. Um, got some flea market totes. We'll go back here real quick. Got a couple more stacks of flea market stuff. And all that jazz. Brand new set of jack stands, a creeper, a drill in here. The top of this tote's all full of tools, sockets, um, wrenches, ratchet wrenches. There's sockets in that case, sockets there. A whole bunch of stuff. And then up here, do the walk up here. I'm gonna start looking up some of this stuff to figure out. I did find. A whole bunch of phones right there put them in the old home box there's another one some uh, cobra walkie talkies i need to look those up and see if they're worth anything some car parts and stuff like that some matco stuff like that's matco uh these two little remotes that's matco i forget what brand that is armstrong i think something like that but i'm gonna look some of this stuff up the barbies that you've seen the purses this set that's brand new some hats I'm going to look all that up and figure out what I'm taking and everything. And I got the jewelry that I found right there. And that's really about it. 
Um, some empty cases over here. Just stuff that I never found. But more car parts, hubcap covers or hubcaps or whatever the hell you call them. But I'm going to get back to this. Alright guys, so I'm out of here for the night. Got everything kind of organized-ish. All the stuff back here. Only thing left in the trailer is the furniture, the freezer, the tires and wheels, and then there's three or two boxes and one crate of all audio stuff. So I have a lot of eBay stuff. And all this, this whole stack, this whole stack, those back there, those three, that box. I've got a ton. I've got a lot of work ahead of me on eBay. Those three are all flea market too. So, uh, I got my soda and the jewelry right there. About to throw this stuff back in there. I'm just leaving these file cabinets out. They're just for scrap. If someone really wants to take them that bad, they can have them. So, I am out of here. Going to park the trailer. This is like the third night this week. Today's Friday. So, from Monday till now. It's like the third night that I've been here past 9 o'clock. Working on this stuff. But I pretty much got everything finished out of all those four crates and that uh, the trailer load of stuff. So now to sell some stuff and buy some more. All right, guys, I'm back down here at the storage unit a couple days later. Um, got the trailer pulled around, as you can't see. Now you kind of can. But I'm just uh, going to work on all that audio stuff that's back in there. I'm just spider web right there. But yeah, so I'll show you that real quick. I'm going to work on that blue tote, that big box that's taller than a chest freezer, and that box back there. And then also probably pull the wheels out and this furniture out and just figure out what's going on with that, like how that goes together, and then take pictures of everything so I can get it listed. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. All right, guys, so I'm heading out of here. I got everything done with those three totes. I just kind of blew through it real quick. Um, there was probably like eight or ten radios and some of them are like two three hundred dollars a piece but it's just now i gotta figure out if i can make sure if they work i guess and a bunch of other car parts there's probably like i don't know somewhere near two thousand dollars worth of stuff just in those three bins and then i got that furniture loaded up in the back of the truck it ended up missing a couple pieces and it was for one of those big big old tvs that are like on the wheels in the big wooden boxes so i'm just getting rid of it um so yeah that's about it but I'm heading out of here. Probably work on some eBay a little bit later because I've got a lot of stuff to list, so.